Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to yet another episode in Inner Guide Q&A program. In today's video, we're going to be discussing and observing about how to stop comparing yourself with others. Coming right up. So in this human society, there are so many kinds of people. They live in different social states, right? We have to deal with these people when we are living our life. So there's a problem which origins inside our mind when we live with these people is, and that problem is, we compare our life with them right we compare our problems and our life and our social states with other people's lives remember this comparison is not the problem this comparison can be used in many ways people use it in many ways right some people, they use this comparison to motivate themselves, right? Now, when you see athletes and the people who are doing sports, when they see uh, the players or athletes which have more capacity and more talents than them, then they try to compare themselves with others. And what they do is they develop themselves they motivate themselves to, to do more, to practice more, right? So this comparison can be used in a good way. But many of us, many of us doesn't do that. What we do is we compare our life with others and we become frustrated with our life. Now this happens for many people who use social media. When they visit Facebook or Instagram, there are so many cases and there are so many problems that origins when you visit social media because you see, when you visit the, the platforms, those platforms, you see so many pictures uh, of other people, how they live their life, how they eat, how they dress, how they go out in Sunday nights and Saturday nights. So you see such pictures. But currently, you may be not in a situation to enjoy your life. Sometimes you may be in a problem. So what you do is, you compare that life with your life and you become frustrated. You become sad. You become depressed. That is why, from researchers, it has been proved that the people who visit and who are in social media for long, long times, they have a higher probability of uh, having the social stress and depression and mental stress inside. Why? That is because of this frustration due to comparison. So that is the comparison that we need to stop, right? If you compare your life with someone and if you become motivated to be and develop more inside you, then it's a good one. So, when you see the happy lives of others, right? If you compare, then you become frustrated. Remember, you cannot be someone else, right? We can only be ourselves. If you try to be someone else, that means you're wasting your life. You're wasting your valuable time that can be used to develop yourself. So the first thing that you have to know is that I cannot be someone else. I can be me. You can be the best version of yourself. That is what we need to do. So what we have to do is we need to battle with ourselves. We don't want to battle with others. Right? We don't want to be 
competitive, we don't want to have races, we don't want to do that. What we have to do is we need to battle with our own weaknesses. We need to try hard to uh, eliminate and destroy our own weaknesses, our own faults, our own bad habits. That is what makes our life develop. But if you compare with others' lives and if you become frustrated and if you do nothing, you're not de developing anything, right? So it is like uh, running a race. Now, you all have seen athletes running races, right? So athlete's job is to be the best person, the best athlete in his track, right? His job is to run as fast as he can in his track. But if he keep on staring on others' tracks, and if we keep thinking on what others do, he will not be successful, he will not become a successful uh, athlete. So what he needs to do is to run as fast as he can by focusing on his own track, and then, he will become a successful athlete. So life is also like that. You need to focus on your track. You need to focus on your life. How I'm going to develop my good qualities. How I'm going to develop my spirituality. How I'm going to uh, develop my mental strength. If you focus on yourself, you see the weaknesses and strengths and opportunities that you have within yourself then you can have and you can develop these things inside you right but if you merely comparing on other selves and staring others to others life and if you do nothing you will be in the same place forever so i will give you a good suggestion that was given by our great teacher supreme buddha to stop this comparison, right? That divine quality that Buddha explained that we should develop within ourselves is called mudita. What is that name? Mudita. Mudita means appreciative joyfulness. So the main aim in doing the practicing this mind of mudita, the mind of appreciative joyfulness is to eliminate the jealous or the envy that we build up inside by comparing our lives with others right normally when we compare we build up the jealous inside right? that is what makes our life frustrated that is what makes our mind stressed and de depressed so what we need to do is to practice mudita or appreciative joyfulness so how to practice it Here's how to do it. It's a simple way. It's a simple and a practical way. You, do, you should apply these things to your practical world when you are living in your life, right? This is how to do it. Is when you see uh, the good lives of other people, when you see the bright sides of people, what you need to do is you need to practice your mind to be happy by seeing them to wish the well-being of their life, right? If you can be happy by seeing their good lives, if you can be happy by seeing, enjoying others' lives, you will never be frustrated, right? You have to be happy and you have to say, and uh, you have to well, uh, wish the well-being of others by the, with, in, from the deeper, deepest place in your heart, then you can you will build up a, an inner happiness, right? You are not comparing yourself with others. You become happy by seeing others' success. But still, you have the mind to develop your own qualities, to eliminate your own weaknesses, right? You can use that comparison in a good way. So that is how to practice the mudita. So 
Here's a, a simple way and a practical way to do it. Whenever you get up early in the morning, before you get down from your bed, just sit on the bed, close your eyes, and for small five, maybe five seconds, you can think, may all the beings in this world become successful. May they enjoy their life. May they be happy forever. Wish the well-being of others. If you wish it, you will not become frustrated, right? The best thing that you have to remember is you can be yourself only. You cannot be someone else. So try to develop your own good qualities and try to eliminate your own weaknesses. Battle with yourself, right? It is you versus you. You need to always give that and be the best version of yourself, right? If you do the be best thing that you can be, you should do. And if you become the best person that you can be, can become, then you don't want to worry about other things, right? You don't want to worry about the talents and the things that you did not have in your life because that is because you became the best person of yourself. That is what you can do. So stop comparing yourself. Develop mudita, the appreciative joyfulness, and enjoy your life, enjoy your peacefulness by developing these good qualities. Namo Buddhaya Tiruvansaranai.